This is insane. I can wipe this stack so much faster than before. That is how you kill 158 planes, 3 more Pacific, 45 bombers, and 113 fighters with minimal losses. Hello there and welcome back to another tutorial. This time I will be covering the new plane update that is not so new anymore. This update changed the plane mechanics completely and here I will be covering my first reaction and experience with the new plane mechanics. I will be showing you a game I played on a public test server where I tried some of the tactics suggested by Golden Buddha, which is a member of the community that I learned a lot of tactics from that I share on this channel. So unlike in other tutorials, in this one, instead of me just teaching you how to do something we will be learning it together and besides that i will also be covering some of the specific changes to some of the units so i would like to start from that so we get that out of the way you can skip to the experience or the game at this time mark and without further ado enjoy so, starting from ground units, both armored car and the balloon have become anti-air units by having their anti-air defense stat increase from 0.2 all the way up to 1.6, meaning that they can deal a lot of damage to enemy planes in case they are mixed in with the stack that the enemy planes are bombing. In addition to this, armored cars have increased in value in terms of production and they have doubled hit points, meaning that they will last a lot longer in a battle, making them a lot more valuable offensively as well as defensively. And finally, for the balloon, the production time has been decreased from 4 days down to 1 day, which is an amazing addition since a lot of times you had to either choose producing an artillery, which also took the same amount of time. So from this change, we should be seeing a lot more balloons on the map, meaning that there will be more map awareness due to high visibility and planes will have a lot more more to worry about in terms of having counters that don't cost as much. Next up are the ranged ground units. Now both a railgun and artillery have received a small change which is that their defensive damage has been decreased meaning that they have become more of an offensive unit so they are more vulnerable to enemy attacks, bombings and melee combat. And the final change has been made for the sea units which is basically for the light cruiser increasing its anti-air damage slightly to make it more or less an anti-air sea unit. So in this is the first time experiencing it. Select. That's a massive range. Oh, I need to move to there. Okay, that's a big cone. I'll tell you that. That covers half of Europe. Anyways, let's go here. Wee! Let's go here. Wee! <laughs> let's let's go patrol uh, here. And now looks like he's patrolling at his destination. Can we go? to another airport and land there because why not or in the middle i can change my path how often like how much can i do before returning to the base doesn't it have gas <laughs> so that is the new plane this is the old plane it looks the same now uh, once you set patrol you can't change it it has to go back here see so that's what changed so what I'm gonna do is test a new theory or tactic suggested by Golden Buddha, which basically tries to achieve what Emilman tactic tried to achieve in the previous version, which is to damage enemy planes without taking any damage back. So let's first go take all my 245 fighters and order them to attack. Then that way the cone will be positioned perfectly, but I don't really want to attack. Instead, what I want to do is come here. And I'm going to do offensive flower of five petals. Uh, five. There you go. Okay, and now more or less, I want you all to come at the same location. Patrol as one. Look at that. Look at that. Disgusting! So once they are all set up and patrolling at the same spot, it should be good it's on the screen. So when I can't see anything. Okay, so something very weird happened. Um, I just positioned myself here. And as you can see, there's no one really in my patrol range. I received zero damage, but they lost 12. Okay, um, how is that even possible? Okay, well, I don't want to happen whatever happened to them to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my patrol right before the take takes place. So I don't 
damage or get damaged i guess and let's see what happens uh, for the next round because i'm accidentally kind of finding out a new tactic i guess so in 45 seconds the same thing should happen which just happened again i'm outside of his patrol range but the only thing that is overlapping is the patrol area let's see what happens this round there you go he lost more did i lose anything I lost morale. Okay, he lost seven this time. How much did I lose? Nothing. Okay, so this time, instead of patrolling while his tick is taking place, um, even though I'm outside of his patrol area for some reason, it, it happens. But instead of staying here, I'm going to cancel my move and order my troops to go back so that one, my dot will be still outside of his patrol zone, but two... Let's see if the invisible patrol area still applies the damage while moving. It's at about like 8 seconds, 5 seconds, I'll cancel it. 7, 6, okay. And let's stop. So let's see what happens. 1. Oh, so nothing happened this time. Okay, so that does nothing. And for this round, let's try the tactic I wanted to try originally, which is moving attacking and then canceling right before the attack takes place and i'm gonna do that maybe at 20 second mark and i'm gonna hope that it ends well 25 24 yada yada uh all of you attack this guy all right so i am in his patrol range five four and let's cancel 245 oh <gasps> Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Zero damage received and 30 killed. <laughs> Thank you, Golden Buddha. You truly are golden. I kind of tried, did try this tactic, but not to this degree. This is insane. I can wipe this stack so much faster than before. All right. This was insane. And guess what? <laughs> I'm going to keep doing this tactic because there is nothing really stopping me. I know he's sleeping and when he wakes up, he's going to wake up to his huge stack being gone. I'll probably make this one disappear as well. Okay. So it's about 27. Okay attack a9 8 i am in range and now i gotta stop and 69 killed i lost guess what zero all right so another oh, oh i'm being slow i'm being slow i hope i'll make it 94 dead zero dead oh i did lose a bit of morale okay so i initial thought that was that i would not receive any damage back but looks like i do okay i'm doing it again okay 110 and i just lost one okay just one um i see that as an absolute win okay 20 seconds left i go in attack mode and i lost zero thank you and going in for my i think this will be final kill maybe let's see oh okay i expected to kill him but like okay i think or hope this will be the last round let's wait till 15 i lost nothing i keep thinking it's the last round but no and no and let's see i hope this is final oh i did lose a lot there okay so ladies and gentlemen i'll have to pull back because i lost uh, seven fighters already and quite a bit of morale but that's it that is how you kill 158 planes to be more specific 45 bombers and 113 fighters um with minimal losses plane flowers because the new update nice oof beautiful and i've been just patrolling around with this plane i started here i just got it out this area without receiving a single damage back even though these guys are anti-air even though he has balloons here um despite that though i am going to wipe it out anyways thankfully we have bombers set up right here um 
54 of them to be precise with 235 fighters supporting them and they will die before they let anybody touch these bombers so let's see how effective they will be they have relatively smaller uh, air defense than i had in previous tests i think so i should be good and we'll see that in about three minutes okay i lost two fighters and they lost three infantry okay that sucked yeah i expected a bit more i'm hoping for better results in the next round because if not then i'm pulling back oh and second round has happened and i lost quite a bit and he lost nothing again uh this sucks i'm not doing this i think it's the fortress so that's a bit disappointing okay well let's try the good old tactic of what i was doing last time but this time against this tag and while I'm moving in position, I might as well start splitting. All right, so that's now that that's set up. Uh, where am I? Jesus. Okay, boy. Let's make sure that that calibrates up. He has 56 fires, 26 bombers, all at 100% condition. And the difference actually here that I want to note is positioning the center of his patrol within the fortress range. So I do wonder if they receive fortress bonus advantage. Another thing is, yes, there is a fortress here, but inside the fortress, there's like 2000 troops and... um yeah supposedly the damage is shared between when the ground units and air units so i don't know if that applies here okay as you can see there's significant stack there now i'm gonna go in quick 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 okay eight seconds seven six five i am in seven one okay they lost 18 i lost zero yes 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 and these guys lost nothing good yes okay lost nothing oh actually i did do some damage but morale damage Anyways, this leads me to believe that there's a mechanic where beyond a certain threshold, the planes receive damage differently. I can't really explain it, but that seems to be the case because this time I didn't kill or anything, but I just dealt morale damage. Oh, and just two fires left. I lost something. No, I lost nothing. Well, I'm kind of tired of this, so I'm going to pull back. Then I'm going to patrol around here because even though this province has a lot less anti-air, I received high damage and I think that's mostly due to high level 40 here. So Fortress does have significant air defense advantage apparently. At least that's what I'm theorizing. So in here I should have no problem. So I did one round here. I was hoping to do damage to this stack, but instead I did damage to this one. Looks like the air does protect the ground and whoa the next round just happened and i lost nine fighters this round but the enemy lost all the planes and this um i don't like the results but let's see what happens in the next round um looks like this did not end well for me at all i lost three more fighters and one bomber okay i'm gonna keep this up for a bit Okay, and looks like I received minimal losses this time. Three again, but I killed quite a lot. So I'm going to keep going and see what how this goes. Ooh, this round I lost a lot actually. So I'm going to pull back. Damn it. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Do keep in mind that this plane update is relatively new. So there have been some changes since I have filmed this video and do check the description for those changes. Anyways, as always, don't forget to enjoy the game.